welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to talk about two wrecks as we got it now for all the species. I just try to give you some information about it and later on some hunting scenes. First a look at the old system which was based on pre-modeled antlers that would if you play long enough appear over and over again and also would always score differently so it wasn't what you see is what you get and the shapes were not as nice as well now with the new two racks we got a two random antler calculation system which is making every single antler random and also the shapes and appearance has really much improved. When the moose was introduced to the hunter this was the first time when we got two racks. So with this the developers showed us these two pictures and this should a little bit explain how it works basically. There is first a set of shapes basic shapes that have a potential for random things to happen like tines and stuff. Then there is also limitation like uh, you know minimum rotation, maximum and so on. So this is the random things. Monaco Steve made uh, a nice little sheet to make it a little bit easier for us to judge um, the antlers we come across. Here on this part he explains to us how the scoring system works and positive added to the score will be length of main beam, length of all typical points, the rack width and for elk length of crown points. Uh, subtracted from the score will be the length of all non-typical points and the, um, the asymmetries between left and right. And there are two ma uh, major misunderstandings. First, the more points the better. This is wrong. In typical scoring only typical points count. And the more body weight the higher the score is also wrong because the body weight and the scoring of the rack is absolutely absolutely not related at all. So now I'm starting with the first few I had on two wrecks. This is on my first hunt when the update was released. And this is the first herd of animals I saw and I was just amazed look at this beast there in the middle A nice herd of bull elks I actually just waited until the big one came into crossbow range so I took the shot at 40 meters and I hit him solid on the chest you know stepping up on a two rex antler for the first time and something this big was just amazing. Then here I can show you some nice uh, sand hunting. Here I put out sand because I heard a whitetail somewhere nearby and then I went on a stand waiting for the buck to come in. Scents are really great to work with. 
I do like using him a lot. So seeing this nice bug was really breathtaking. Two Rex is such a big time improvement. I mean, this is what a trophy whitetail should look like. Here I was just checking if it's the same bug that I heard before. And it was. You know when you put out scents, you have a lot of time, so if, if there was another bug somewhere near, I still had plenty of time to wait for him to, to, to get to get here as well. This rack is just amazing. It looks fantastic. So I also was checking for the wind and the wind was perfect but when the bug started to lose interest in the scent I just called him Of course I decided to use the crossbow and I hit him well on the chest. So first of all, I'm always checking the blood when I hit, so here it was only body showing, source. So I was expecting some longer tracking, but over the next hill already I saw his rack sticking out of the grass. And when I took a look through the binoculars I just saw he was still alive so I just walked up on him and there he was wonderful wreck and he just died when I was putting out the crossbow again This is a really nice rack, very nice trophy. Now this next it's also a white tail and when I first saw it I already knew this is a this is a, it's a great rack. I did have my 
microphone open so you can hear me breathing and I was a little bit excited about this bug there you can also see the variation of color on the rack so this this bug has a rather dark color on the antlers and very wide antlers as well This is really a nice rack. And it was a score of 182. Still my biggest whitetail. So that's about it for this episode. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And thanks for comments and thumbs up and happy hunting